If you're wondering which Raptor to choose for your 10.5 inch AR pistol or SBR, then this video is for you. Our best seller is still the 762 Raptor 8, and for good reason. It's a very versatile can, does a lot of things well, so if you're still shopping for your first suppressor, that might be the best place to start. And that 8 stack may just be the ticket for your 10.5 inch AR. We've done a video on how a 762 Raptor will perform on a 5.56 using a 5.56 end cap. Make sure you subscribe before you go check that out. The shorter the barrel is, the louder the gun is. So we may need a few extra baffles in this stack to help quiet this thing down. For that reason, we find that the six stack may be the sweet spot for most people when looking at a 10 and a half inch AR. This will give you great acoustic performance while keeping the length down and keeping things pretty light. After all, most AR manufacturers go through great lengths of product testing and research and development to keep their guns light. So let's not undo all of their hard work by adding a big heavy suppressor to the end of your gun. The Raptor is an awesome choice for an AR pattern rifle to begin with because the combination of our spiral tech baffles and reflexes is gonna do a lot to keep gas out of the shooter's face. Thanks to everything we've learned about fluid dynamics from our heritage and turbo machinery, we know that spinning gas in our spiral tech baffles is gonna do a lot more to reduce the gas back in the shooter's face than a conical or omega style baffle. And of course our reflex is giving that gas somewhere else to go besides back down your bore and increasing the volume of the blast chamber without increasing the overall length of the suppressor. If you do have overall length restrictions because you're trying to fit your AR in and out of a pack or the weapon rack of a patrol vehicle, you can always step down to a Raptor 4 or even a Raptor 2. These really short Raptors still provide the acoustic performance you need to be able to communicate operationally with your teammates or your family members during a critical incident. They're going to keep your short gun really maneuverable and they're going to do away with that huge fireball that these little ARs are known for. We've also got the Raptor adapter available for the 1 and 3 8 by 24 industry standard QD and flash hider end caps to do even more to diminish your flash signature. And these are some of the reasons why the Raptor got top marks from the National Tactical Officers Association. Many police and other government agencies choose to run Raptors on their multi-jurisdictional entry teams and SWAT units. Grade 5 titanium does have its limitations with heat. However, the Raptor is full auto rated and with some common sense and responsible use, it's going to outlast your gun. You also might note that some AR manufacturers choose to enlarge the size of their gas port so that the gun runs more reliably under different conditions and with a variety of ammo. If that's the case, you're going to get more noise at the port, especially with a longer suppressor. So that larger gas port on the Mark 18 here accounts for the right ear noise staying relatively the same while the muzzle decreased dramatically based on how many baffles we had in the stack of our Raptor. Now, as most of you know, you need 10 and a half inches or more to have good ballistic properties with a 5.56. And that's as short as we like to go with the Raptor on 5.56 ARs. If you're wondering about barrel length restrictions, you can always check out your owner's manual or get on our website. 10 and a half inch ARs will almost always fit a one inch reflex. If you have an adjustable gas block, this might get in the way. So always measure to fit first. Watch our how to measure for your reflex video if you haven't seen that yet. If you're planning on sinking your Raptor behind a handguard, the OD of the Raptor is 1.625. Here's some staff picks from here at AB and what we like to run on our 10 and a half inch guns. Let us know in the comments what you like to run and we'll see you in the field or on the range sometime.